hello hello babes again my name is X and here I am today with a new video and obviously if you have guessed it give yourselves 10 points because today we will be reviewing the beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette this one is actually part of their holiday collection and um, mine just arrived um last monday and uh i almost got into a fight with the um livery man because he was a bit rude but anyways let's not talk about that shit and let's focus on this beautiful thing right here so um as you can see this is what the palette looks like with the outer sleeve and well um if you know me or if you're if you've been watching my videos if i don't have uh face makeup on that means i will be reviewing a palette or an eyeshadow palette for that matter so again this is what the palette looks like it's black and gold and i'm really loving the vibe of this one here it is up close so I really like that it's still the same um, velvet or suede packaging like the Anastasia Modern Renaissance and the subculture palettes and the brush actually fell off and uh, yeah um, it still comes with a dual ended brush then this is how the palette looks like it has 14 eyeshadows in it then it has a sizable mirror as usual with um, the same sticker with the logo on it and can you tell that I'm really a bit excited with this one um, as you can see it has really interesting oops yeah look at that pigment well you got me Anastasia so as you can see um, the palette has really interesting color sh uh, range and um, based on the website it has seven mattes and um, two duo chromes lucid and dimension and the rest are um, metallic or shimmery shades here it is side by side with my subculture palette still the same um, velvet packaging and this palette is actually or the prism palette is actually said to be just you know um, similar to the subculture palette but here they are side by side um, yes there might be um, some similarities to the color or to the shade range but I could say that they both have their um, unique qualities to them and uh, well if we're talking about you know Lucid here and um, Cube from Subculture Palette they're kind of the same but Cube has a kind of a pink um, shift to it when you swatch it it's a, also a duochrome like the um, lucid one but um, I, I haven't swatched anything yet because I really want to surprise myself and of course surprise all of you and honestly I don't really have any idea of what I look I'm gonna do right now but well I will be trying and here it is side by side with the um, modern renaissance palette so if you're actually like me that's a big fan of this modern renaissance palette from Anastasia this one has a lot of warm tones in it the reds and um, the burnt oranges are you know really prevalent on this palette and well 
here they are side by side they're really um, a bit apart from each other so if they said that subculture is the sister palette to modern renaissance I think prism is their cousin it's their distant cousin I guess so well without further ado let's all jump into it and uh, let's start the tutorial I'll start by priming my eyes using my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade sand blending it in using my damp beauty I mean my damp real technique sponge setting um, the concealer with this um, yellow shade in here from my Freedom Professional London Pro Stro Palette. So we have come to the interesting part and the um, well, I will be starting off with the shade Unity and I'll be using this brush that came with the palette. If you're asking for the kickback, there, there's still kickback and uh, Modern Renaissance actually has some kickback to it as well. But we will see later on which among subculture and prism has the most kickback in them. I really don't know um, what I look I'll do right now, but just let's just get into it. Just always remember to tap your brush off every time you go into a shade. Ability wise, I still can't judge because we're just putting in um, a transition shade. We will be um, talking about that one later. So with um, the same brush, I will be going into Lore this um, muted pink shade in here that's I really find this one nice and again there's some kickback there so just keep on tapping your brush So if you remember my video on the subculture one, the shadows actually turned out to be a bit oxidized after I have put them on my lids. We will be seeing if um, the shadows in this palette also oxidize as well. So, so far it has blended really well with um, the previous shade, Unity. Right now I'll be trying to deepen the outer corner using the shade, I don't really know. Let's try Osiris. I know this is weird because Osiris is like, it has a metallic finish. But here's a swatch. There, it's like a nice blue with purple glitters. Actually, the glitters are gold. And it's really nice. But, well, let's take the risk. And we'll be using that one to deepen our outer corner. So when you dip your brush on Osiris, it does not have a kickback because, well, the formula of their shimmer shadows 
are really way different compared to their mattes and well I'm really loving this um, shade in here applying applying really well so far I'll just be taking it up over my crease and I really love the name of this shadow it's Osiris it's like kind of reminds me of Born of Osiris one of my favorite prog bands so while while we are in it let's just keep on blending that shit up just focus it on the outer corner and just halfway to the crease I actually like how it looks right now. So next, I will be going into Obsidian. It's a matte black shade using um, a smaller fluffy brush. And I'll be using it to deepen my outer corner. I'm gonna go back to Lure and just blend everything in. It actually created like a nice purpley shade at the outer corner of my eye. And right now, I guess I will be cutting part of my crease as I will be trying to put a shimmer shade. Excuse me. I will be trying to put a shimmer shade on my lid. So again, I'll be using my um, Fit Me Concealer. Then I'll be using this um, flat brush. And if you could actually notice, I've been a bit darker since my last video because we had um, a beach trip last um, Halloween. Don't worry, I will be putting out a vlog for that one. already cut a half of my crease with my concealer I'll be trying to go into dimension I'm interested with this shade because let me swatch it it looks silver on the pan but it looks a bit it looks like it has a bit of a purple shift or a lavender shift to it look at that it's really really good really pigmented I like it I like it so far so I will be using um, a flat brush I can't find my flat brush here I'll be using this one to put dimension into my crease or just on the area where we put the concealer in With a brush, it's not actually really sticking into my eyelid. Let me try using my finger. There. If only you are with me right here right now, or if only my camera translated so well. My god, I'm in love with this shade right here dimension oh my god I mean I'm, I'm I really get the leg whenever I 
I try on really, really good eyeshadows. I mean, come on, come on. Dimension come through. It actually has like pink glitters in it. So, I will be going back in with um, Obsidian just to blend them both together. Go back again to dimension hands down dimension is my favorite shade so far and just slightly put it just above my um, usual pre crease because I have terribly hooded eyes if you know me and I'm loving it so far so using a an angled brush I'll be dipping into obsidian once again and I'll just be using it as like a liner just to because I don't really tight line because I find it really painful so I'm just you know just using eyeshadow as a liner just so we're not gonna get a really strong out there cat eyeliner but just a diffused um, look into our liner. I'm not gonna flick it outwards because we're not really going for a um, the cat eye look. So far, these shadows are not creasing on me. And I really really like them we already have like half of our eye look so I'll just be finishing off the other eye off camera and I'll get back to you so I am back and I have completed um, a half part of my eye look and I put on falsies and mascara off camera and I also completed the rest of my face makeup so um, we will be completing the rest of the eyes right now and I will be going in with I, I don't really know what to choose but let's try pyramid <laughs> yeah I'm just so fond of taking risks so I'll be putting pyramid in the inner corners so I'll be using a um, detail brush you know what since sphere here is a really interesting color I'll be going in with that one instead my god oh my god oh my god I'm just so nervous it's not it's not really translating that well but well, yeah, it's a nice pop of color with the purples that we're, you know, doing in our eyes. I actually did not really expect that I'll be doing this purple look. It actually matches my hair, but I really, really love this so far. And before I go in with finishing my lower lash line or my lower lid, I'll be going in with this, um, I don't know, it's me now. It's a really cheap um, nude and black pencil just to line my waterline. I guess I will be going in with yeah pyramid the lower lash line I'll be using a pencil brush the weirdest thing ever to put a 
shimmer shadow in your lower lash line but I don't know about you I'm just taking every risk let's just fuck everything up using like a flat shader brush I will be putting throne yes reminds me a lot of I don't know the devil wears Prada I'm really a fan of you no know. all right so this is how throne swatches oh my god oh my god it's really beautiful I don't know I'm speechless it's a really beautiful teal I don't know really beautiful so let's go ahead and try and put it on our outer lash line here we all die anyway so let's just take all the risks while we can and I'm just connecting this to my upper lip I really look ridiculous whenever I'm putting shadow on my lower lash line using a small brush or this brush that came with the palette I'm just diffusing everything in so there um, it's the first time that I've used a matte shadow as an inner corner highlight but oh well and oh before I forget I will be going in with lucid to highlight my brow bone I'll just put on some mascara on my lower lash line using of course my favorite L'Oreal Miss Mangara this, this one is from BLK and this is one of my favorites this month and this shade is called Simple and well you have arrived to this part of the video where I will be um, telling you my final thoughts so again we are discussing the Anastasia Beverly Hills prison palette and it's really really good and I really really like it and if you're gonna ask me if um, I would recommend that you buy this one I would say yes actually because this palette here is limited edition it's a holiday release and for some other brands usually their holiday releases are not um, their best ones because like for example um, based on my experience Too Faced um, most of their holiday shadows are not really as pigmented as their their um, regular shadows but um, with this one let's just disregard the subculture um, riot that if you're looking into the palette you might not actually see that it has it's cohesive it's not really cohesive because um, you could you know you could not when you look at it you don't really know what you're gonna do with it um, eventually while you are actually looking into it or while you're studying it you can actually go ahead and transform your eyes using all these shades in this palette all the shades in here are actually usable they're actually pigmented they have lesser kickback than the subculture palette and they're really really fun colors if you if you want to actually go ahead and experiment and the fact that it has a matte black shade in it it actually that's actually the reason why it has me sold 
all right so you could use this uh, matte black shade with all the warmer shades in here and you could like create a warm burnt orange makeup look and as for the glitters or I mean the shimmers they're all really top-notch they're smooth they're soft they're buttery almost like the color pop super shock shadows that I have had they have the same consistency they actually have like the same buttery formula to them and as this shade pyramid it's really really liquid gold again I tell you it's it's really gold so I actually only used lucid dimension pyramid throne Osiris obsidian lure and unity I haven't used everything because that would be really a bit difficult for me but I could say that for this palette, this is actually worth your $42. So here in the Philippines, it's a bit pricey. I actually bought this shout out to Ma'am Irene from the makeup store MNL.com. I will just um, link it down below. This actually costs 2,800 pesos from, um, you know, with all the taxes and all that. And plus the shipping fee which is 180 pesos but it's really really fast you could receive it um, on the next business day and considering that I'm here in the province of Iloilo so again again I don't really need to reiterate um, again and again this palette this holiday palette is a must-have it's at least one of the best palettes that I have had this year. Hindi naman madami yung palette natin, pero this is one of the best that I have had my hands on this year. Can you see? I'm really happy about it. And the look that I created is actually really, really, really good. I mean, I'm not really... It's I'm not really just speaking for myself but it it really reflects unlike with the look that I did with the subculture palette um, it, it got really dark and muddy and I didn't know what to do anymore so I just went on and continued what I was doing even though it was already messy and I don't know that was a disaster so I don't know about you but this is just the first time that I have used this, but I'll be including this in my October favorites, November favorites, December favorites, all-time favorites. One of the best palettes. Well, if you like this look, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for you to go ahead and look at more videos like this and again my name is X if you don't know me and I'm fond of listening to prog music while I'm doing my tutorials and yeah if if you like me please go ahead and follow me on all my social media accounts I'm gonna link it down below and also I'm gonna put in my email if you want to do collabs or anything like that excuse me and again my name is X and I'm really happy with the way this look turned out and see you all on the next video. Mwah. Love ya.